Hi, I'm Will Story, and I'm going to show you how to take out a motherboard and identify some of the little fun components on it. So, to start with, you have to take the sinks, heat sink off of here and here, which I've already done. You also have to take out any slots or any cards that you'd have in these slots, which I've also already done, and remove the screws that would be in here, which, again, I've already done. So, to take the motherboard out, take it and you slide it back so it's clear of this little wire mesh, and then you just lift it up and hey presto you have a motherboard. So, some of the different slots we have, these two are PCI slots, just normal old everyday PCI slots, they take 5 volts of power each. This one's a PCI 1X or 1 times or whatever you want to call it and it takes 1.5 volts of power. This is the north bridge which is connected to the CPU and if you have any very high end graphics cards that'd be connected to those. This is the south bridge, which is connected to the PCI slots, and these external slots over here. The north bridge is also connected to the RAM. I forgot that. And then these external slots right here. We have monitor cable or audio or video, not audio. We have an Ethernet port. These four are USB. We have audio in, audio out, and a microphone. So there's some of the different components on it. To put it back in, just set it back down, line all your little holes back up, and slide it forward. Then you put all your little screws back in, put the slots back in, heat sinks back on, and you're done. 